This is the number one trading strategy you can use to grow your trading account from $100 to over $10,000. It can be used on any time frame, from the weekly and daily charts, all the way down to the 15 and five minute time frames. Let's now head over to the charts so I can show you the exact trading strategy. First, I'm gonna be using the free version of TradingView which you can find down in the description. I then begin by first heading to the top left and going to indicators. Once we're here, you wanna be typing in EMA, also known as the moving average exponential. You wanna click on it once. You also wanna click on it a second time to add two to your chart. Once we've now got this blue line on the chart, you wanna first double click on the first line, come over to this left hand side, click on length and change this first number to 20. Once I've changed it to 20, I then come over to style and I'm gonna change this first color to orange and make the line slightly thicker. Second, we still have that second blue line. So we need to double click on this one, come over to length and change this one to 13. I'm also gonna come over to style and change this color to blue. We first need to understand what the EMA does. It's actually a form of a moving average. So when we're using the 20 EMA, it's taking the average of the last 20 bars and displaying it as a line on our chart. So when we also use the 13 EMA, it's taking the last 13 bars and displaying it as a line on our chart. So the 20 EMA is known as the medium term exponential moving average, while the blue line is the short term EMA. The next thing you need to understand is the actual slope of the EMA. Through this area here, you can see that we have a downward sloping EMA, which tells us there's a higher probability of shorting right now in the market. Once we come back to this average price, looking for more downturns in the market. When we have a positive sloping EMA, it means that we have a high probability of taking longs to the upside. And especially when we come back to the average price, we're gonna use that as a springboard to make higher prices. The second rule is you're only allowed to take trades in the direction of the slope of the EMA. All through this area, we had a downward sloping EMA, which means that we can only take shorts to the downside looking for a strong downwards move. Back in this area through here, we have a positive sloping EMA, which means we're only able to take longs to the upside and an even perfect area is when we come back to test the average price. The next thing that you need to understand is the space between the medium term and short term moving average is known as the value zone. And this is the area you want to be looking to take shorts to the downside since we have this downward sloping EMA. Any price that comes into this value area is a really good zone to then be looking for shorts to the downside. The next thing that we need to understand is a risk management tool. So when we start off with a $100 account, you're going to be using somewhere around a 10% risk tolerance, which is $10 out of that $100 account. On all of these three trades through here in this area, when we came back to test the value zone, if we were able to enter when we actually touch the medium term exponential moving average and we put a 10% stop, see the price only moved 6%. If we had 10%, we never would have got hit in the market. On this next trade, we literally perfectly touched the EMA. We only moved up just 2% before then moving down a massive 32% to the downside. And we even have it again. If we took this trade right on the medium term moving average, we would have needed 5% risk on this particular trade, but we left it with 10% and we would have seen over 32% gains. So you can see how powerful this trading strategy is. All through this area, you're able to take shorts to the downside and catch massive waves of price. And the best part of this strategy is it forces you to only trade in the direction of the EMA. So you can see how we had a massive bull market in this area from this low in the price all the way up, that's over a 250% profit. And you would have never shorted in this market because we always had a positive sloping exponential moving average. You're always looking to buy back in these value zones in between the medium term and short term exponential moving average, right in between those spaces. You can see multiple times, every time we came back up to this price, it was actually a perfect time to buy. All these times you're buying, you're buying, and then you just get stopped out on one trade, but you had over six, seven, eight, nine profitable trades all in a row, all showing that the medium term exponential moving average is going to the upside. There's a higher probability of taking longs to the upside. We're now giving price back into these value areas, getting a buying low, selling high type of strategy. You always wanna be buying low in the market as low as possible, buying on these dips. 
because the goal is to then sell high. You wanna be buying low, selling high. Let me now give you a live example of this trading strategy in action. If we were to look at this current bar in this area through here, would you be looking to either go long or would you be looking to go short? Well, the answer is very, very clear. I'll give you five seconds to make your decision. In this particular instance, you need to be looking at the exponential moving average. Since the exponential moving average is moving on the positive side of the slope, it means we can only take longs to the upside. Now, if we're going to get long on this particular trade, what's the area that we want to get long? That's right, you wanna get long in between the short and medium term exponential moving average known as the value zone. The closer you can get to the medium term EMA on the chart, the better price you'll be able to get and the less risk that you'll need on this particular trade. So let's watch this live trading example where we actually get some movement in the market. You can see, look, in this area, we never actually came into the value zone, but it was a clear buy. Reason being is through this area, we had really strong upticks, plus we had that positive sloping EMA, but this was not a buy just yet because we wanted to get in the value zone. As we look, price continues on and look what happens. We come right into our value zone. The exponential moving average is traveling to the upside, telling us the probability of trading is better chance to go long in this area than it is to go short. And as we continue on with the trade, you see how we then begin skyrocketing to the upside. We now have a big push above this area, above our value zone, up over 34% on this particular trade. And then what happens? Look, we have multiple re-entries into this value zone and it looks like people are buying in this area because they understand that this is where the true value lies, especially when you wanna be looking to long in the market. These small dips give you such a better price to be able to enter and use this trading strategy. And as we continue on, you can just see, look, we come back into this value zone, back into the value zone again, and now we skyrocket to the upside from this particular trade all the way back here, all the way to this long, that's over 126% on this particular trade. And you can see how many times we actually got this entry. Got it through here, another entry through here, another entry in here, more entries in here, another entry here, another entry here, and then massive rockets to the upside. So you can see how positive and how great this trading strategy is using the exponential moving average to only trade in that direction. Since we had that positive sloping EMA, we can only look for longs to the upside. Plus, we wanna be buying in these value areas because that's the best price to look for price to continue to the upside. Let's now look at a second example. In this instance, you can see price has basically been traveling to the sideways direction and then we had a really steep drop off. Now, which direction can we only trade in? It's clear that since the exponential moving average is moving on the downward slope, it means we can only take shorts to the downside and we wanna be looking to actually get short in between this value area. So let's have a look how price reacts. You can see we do get this uptick and look what happens. We come back into this value zone. We do have a little poke into the value zone and then we get an instant rejection to the downside over 18% once we retest that value zone. Then. We then continue, we come back into this value zone again before we had a ma another major drop to the downside. So you can see through this area is where we wanted to be looking to get short, but we need to wait for price to enter back into this value zone, enter back in the value zone another time before we can then look for shorts to the downside over 38% on this particular trade. So it shows that when you wanna get short, you need to wait for the exponential moving average to only allow you to short, and then you wanna be looking in the value zone to get short and continue your trade to the downside. The strategy is not only super profitable in the market, but it just stops you from doing these silly mistakes in the market all through this area when you would have thought, oh, the bear trend is over, the bear trend is over, the bear trend is over. No, it's not. The exponential moving average is pointing in the downwards direction, only allowing you to short. Then you get this perfect sell entry in the market. You've come right back into the value zone, getting a perfect trade, and then looking for over 50% moves to the downside. It just shows how fantastic it is, and you never get caught up in the old trend, you're always in the newest and most current trend. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, 
Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification, plus leave a comment if you're enjoying these trading videos. If you want to learn more about my personal trading strategy, check out the description where I have my 9 hour trading course.